Bodybuilding is typically looked upon as this archaic means of strength training. It's not actually going to help with sports performance. It's not actually gonna help athletes improve in their realm of training and improve it in their realm of competitive sport. And so when we're talking about bodybuilding, we've gotta establish right away, what is it? It's gotta be focused on increasing muscle mass. It's also gotta be focused on improving myofibrillar hypertrophy. So not just sarcoplasmic hypertrophy where we're looking for that big mass, but we're also trying to look at improving our muscle mass through myofibrillar hypertrophy. But on top of that, we've gotta to start to think about what else can we do? How else can we look for adaptations? And that's the whole key here, is that when we're talking about sports-based training, as a strength coach, I'm simply looking to make adaptations. I'm looking at various points in an athlete's career and I'm trying to acknowledge that, hey, we need these precise, specific adaptations to help them get their level of play to that next step. And that's a key concept when we're talking about bodybuilding. Is this going to be a hindrance on their performance or are we trying to elicit a nice adaptation that's gonna get them to the next level. So that's what we're focused on here when we're talking about bodybuilding for football. What's up everybody, it's Dane Miller from GarageStrength.com and if this is your first time to the channel and you're interested in becoming a better athlete, you wanna learn about training, you wanna learn how you can become an explosive freak Make sure that you like, you subscribe, and you ring that notification bell so we can help you become a beast. So how can bodybuilding actually help football players? One we've gotta think about right away. There's numerous different modalities that we're looking for when we're training a football player. We wanna focus on, right off the bat, technical coordination. And we've gotta think about what are those elements behind football. We have to be explosive. We have to have a fast first step. We also have to be able to coordinate and react rapidly we have to be fast we have to be able to move our feet rapidly we also have to take on opponents that are extremely strong that are extremely explosive themselves so in so doing we have to have quite a bit of absolute strength as well when we can take that absolute strength and we can compare that and develop that with that technical coordination through olympic lifts now all of a sudden we've got an athlete who's explosive and they're extremely strong, then we can start to factor in, all right, let's do some reflexive work. We gotta react rapidly. We have to hold proper positions. We wanna teach our body how to develop the skill of having co-contractions in the shoulder, having co-contractions in the hips so that we can run a little bit more effective. We can have more improved dynamic trunk control so that we're wasting less energy. There's a couple key areas where bodybuilding can dramatically improve the performance of a football player. That first key step is it can isolate any areas that might be lagging behind for specific players for specific positions. Some coaches find that some of their offensive and defensive linemen have really, really tight hips. They're really sluggish when they get too deep. And so what we can do with bodybuilding is we can use movements in very high rep schemes to try and develop those areas more effectively. We also know that some athletes like running backs, wide receivers, their hamstrings might be really weak. So we can start to trigger and target those specific areas. Now on top of that, we might have other athletes like safeties or quarterbacks that might have areas like their shoulders banged up because they're hitting a lot or they're throwing a lot. Well now we can isolate that specific joint and try and strengthen and develop that lagging area so that they're less prone to injury. So utilize bodybuilding to isolate specific joints, to isolate specific areas where athletes might be behind and might have a serious weakness, and that's gonna help improve their overall performance. Another key area with bodybuilding is that athletes learn to grind. If you've ever done a true bodybuilding workout where you're doing sets of 15 to 30 reps, you're under tension for long periods of time. You might only rest for 60 seconds and then you've gotta get back under the bar. These workouts are brutal. Think about sports like wrestling and swimming. These are difficult sports. They're very, very challenging. They teach young kids how to be tough. They do, they're hard. That's exactly what bodybuilding does. Bodybuilding is not for the faint of heart. It teaches football players how to grind and how to push 
through long periods of discomfort. And that's gonna show up in the fourth quarter for all those football players. When you're in the fourth quarter and you feel like crap, your muscles are killing you, guess what? Now all of a sudden, because you've learned how to grind and you've learned how to engage that discomfort, you're gonna have better performance and you're gonna be able to manipulate your opponent when they're down and when they are weak, and that's gonna help you dominate and get into the end zone and win that game deep in the fourth quarter. Six, six, ten. Unbelievable, 93 90 yards. That next key factor behind bodybuilding is it's going to improve muscle mass. One of the biggest factors behind bodybuilding is that we're really just focusing on increasing the overall size of your muscle. That pays off tremendously in a sport like football. If we can have bigger muscles, we can put out and generate a bit more force. So think about, we've got a kid, he's in 10th grade, he only weighs 190 pounds. We've got to get him on the offensive line. He's got to get to 240 to 250, but we don't want him getting super fat, right? We want him to stay healthy. We can start to imprint nice, bodybuilding methods, we can still improve their technical coordination. We can still improve their absolute strength, but we also can improve their size, their muscle mass size by using bodybuilding based training. Now, all of a sudden they have a pump all the time. They have tremendous amounts of sarcoplasm entering into that muscle cell and expanding the size of the muscle. And now they can gain weight a lot easier. And that's one of the big factors behind bodybuilding for football is that when we have kids that might be a little small for specific positions, and we might not have extra kids on the bench, we might not have that luxury. Guess what? You start to use the proper training methods and you can create those kids by understanding different training methods and how they elicit a positive response and a positive adaptation to your training. And that last big factor, this is a factor that I believe has three big impacts. I like to think about this. I've, I've worked with high school football teams where we show up at six in the morning and there'll be 50, 60 kids there at six in the morning. And they're, they might be dragging a little bit. They're a little fatigued. They didn't have any coffee. They're coming in and they're just tired. Kids should be sleeping a little bit later. They should be sleeping in a little bit more. They need more sleep than I do, right? But we've got to get them into the weight room. We've got to get them in early based off the school schedule. Now, they don't like that, but there's a really unique thing that you can do. You can start to cater to what they do like. And that's where using bodybuilding as a training method can pay off a lot because now, after they do their big lifts, they do their O lift, they do their absolute strength, now we start to focus on a couple other factors. Then we finish off with some bodybuilding. They get a big pump in their arms, they get a big pump in their quads and in their hamstrings. They start to feel bigger. You notice, they got some confidence. They start coming in with cut off sleeves. Dude, it's six in the morning and it's 40 degrees outside. Why do you have your sleeves cut off? But they feel big, they feel stronger, they feel better about themselves. And guess what? They start to enjoy coming in to train. They start to engage more with training and that's a huge factor. If they like to train, they're gonna give you a better effort. It's a give and a take relationship. Now they have better confidence, now you get a better output from them. Now they start to focus a little bit more on their Olympic lifts. You start to tell them, hey, if you push your clean a little bit more, your quads are gonna get bigger. Hey, if we can work on your push press, your triceps are gonna grow as well. Now they start to see how all these things are intertwined and they start to enjoy it and they push themselves even more. And then finally, intimidation. It's just like wrestling. If you're wrestling a guy who's got huge arms, you're slightly intimidated, right? If you line up against an opponent and you see Derrick Henry's back there and you see the size of his arms or the size of Saquon Barkley's quads and you're sitting there going, I've got to tackle him, that's intimidating. Same thing if you're lining up and you've got Vaughn Miller's across from you and he's the DN and as he goes down and puts his hand down, you can see all the striations in his tricep. That's intimidating. You know how fast he is, you know how strong he is. That plays a huge factor in manipulating your opponent. That's also gonna factor into some strength endurance. Now, if I have that endurance where I can hit 20 to 30 to 40 reps on the bench or anything along these lines, that's gonna pay off later in the game because I have better strength endurance at a higher strength output. 
That's what we've got to remember about bodybuilding is not just training football through bodybuilding. We're not training you to be a bodybuilder. We're training you to be a really good football player. And we're going to do that by utilizing methods from coordination that's rapid, by utilizing methods that are going to be focusing on absolute strength, by utilizing methods that's going to improve your dynamic trunk control or your ab stability. And then finally, by utilizing methods from bodybuilding to improve your confidence, to enhance your enjoyment of training and to lead to that intimidation factor so that you can become a better football player. So if you want more help around football-based training, head over to garagestrength.com. You can click on the link down below in our description. Head over, you can pick up one of our off-season football-based training programs. If you want more videos about football-based training, you can click on this card right here. Until next time, guys, peace.